Welcome back to Blakey World, well, guys. Apologies, I've not had a post a video for a while. Um, I've been doing loads of other stuff, trying to get my life sorted through my business with lockdown and everything. So uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a bit of a run one. Um, but yeah, I'm back out. It's December. We're about to go into the lockdown in January, I reckon. So I thought I'd get one more uh, quick shot out before we uh, before we go into lockdown. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely freezing cold. I've run one bucket through this already. Um, just go on my solution. We do this, but just fly around a bit. I've got the bucket to run through here. Now the system I'm using, the system I've got running at the moment is I've got the Miner's Moss running through the plate onto my dream mat. And as I say, the angle you want your sluice, ideally is about five degrees. That's quite a good running sluice. The material's going through really, really well. I'm not stressed about that. I'll run a, I'll run a couple of shovels through so you can see it. Finger out the way, apologies. Right, so. Yeah, it's running really, really well. No worries about that, no stress, no dramas about that. So what I'm doing is, it's hitting the, the miner's moss, and in theory, I'm inside my head, a lot of the fine gold is gonna get trapped in there. Whatever runs across the dream map, we run the gauntlet. I'm in the process of getting a, another drops loose to try out um, from DT Prospecting. Um, so if you haven't checked them out, go and check them out. They've got some cracking stuff on there. But yeah, he's going to send me down a drop sluice. I'm also getting a giant hand dredge, which makes life a thousand times easier. So you can pump stuff through at a rate of knots. But as I say, this is you working really, really well. So as you can see, the cells are clearing nicely. Get a nice little vortex running around. You want to look at your dream map. You ideally want the little vortex. You want the little bits of gravels and stuff like heavies just spinning around inside the map. That's where, hopefully in theory, the majority of it's going to get trapped. And there. <laughs> so as I say, we'll run this for a little while now. Um, I'm working a spot directly behind me, which I'll give you a quick look at in a second. But it's uh, it's a cracking little river, and it's unfortunately it's a secret location. I can't divulge this. But I'm working over in that little area over there where the river runs through. I've had gold down the bottom before, so I'm going to try over there. I know there's definitely 100 gold in this section, but the river splits into two. It's still part, it's still part of the same river, but I want to try and work over there because I've seen a little area under that tree which I reckons looks pretty good loads of big heavy rocks there it doesn't look like it's rampage and sort of raging now but there's big enough rocks there to show that it's definitely been running quite heavy over there in the past and where all the rocks are wedged as we all know where there's heavy rocks landing in one place cobblestones gravel if there's gold in the river then it's definitely worth a bit of a check out anyway, we'll check it out and we'll check out later we'll sign back in but for now Let's run this bucket through. It's been a bit, bye. So I'm working this hole by here. There's a bank by there. Never, oh, what I'm gonna say is never ever dig into the bank. If you've got to dig into the bank, you're getting too desperate. There's plenty of room, loads of areas to dig around. So I'm digging this little hole by here, which is absolutely perfect. I can get up, I'm up to about there. That's as close as I'm getting. Don't need to get any closer to the bank. If people start digging on the bank, you start destroying it for everyone. So that's one lesson learned. If you just start to learn how to pan and learn how to work the river, do not dig the bank and also any holes you dig replace them because obviously you've got other people that want to use the river as well plus you come back next time you fall and hold you break your ankle you stranded out here no one can find you so anyway back to what i've been doing i found here as i've been digging away some really really, really nice quartz which is absolutely laden with all sorts it's nice and some nice little rusty colors there it looks like um that piece just now looks like it had some ironstone in it as well where's that piece i found Six look. I'm not throwing that bit over there, I think. One piece over there, I think I'll throw in. Yeah, but it's as I say, you've got all the right signs. You want quartz that's got really good mineralization, but if you can find quartz with looks like rust marks and stuff, again, you're heading into the right direction. But like, it's it's like any, it's like a game of chance. You've got to work the area, try and read the river. You can work at areas where you think you're gonna find the gold. I know I've found a bit of gold here before, um, a bit further downstream. Um, but I, as I say, I'm trying to work my way up and work out where the actual gold band is. Um, I know a fair bit further up there, it seems to peter right out. And then about 100 meters down there, it seems to disappear as well. So what I'm kind of thinking is, potentially the gold band runs across this valley. Um, so it, it's, there's so much you can work, so many areas you can kind of work at. But as I say, this is the kind of material I'll be digging out. Really, really, really good material, nice dark material. I've been running it through the sluice 
and it looks it looks really really good anyway but we'll find out a bit later on but i thought i'd give you a quick look to see exactly where i'm working at um and yeah i'll catch you guys back in a bit right guys welcome back um so yeah i've uh, got my cons here which i've collected from my sluice i emptied out four times i think it was so obviously i've run the miner's moss um straight onto the dream mat um to collect everything the result looks pretty good. I've done one pan cheekily already and I found yeah, some nice gold. So what I'll do is I'm going to run a couple of pans through now to show you exactly what um, I've gathered. Um, as I say, the area of work, I knew there was gold there. Um, I've had some good, some good clean outs every now and then. Not amazing clean outs, but yeah, not bad. I mean, every pan, probably two or three specks of gold. The first one then was quite exciting. So let's just hope if I can keep that trend going. So I'm just going to uh, say, put one scoop into my gold claw you guys haven't got a gold claw do yourself a favor get your asses out and get yourself a gold claw amazing you can clean up so fast i've been doing this so long now what i do is i pan it straight into my other gold claw at the bottom there so i usually do a double a sort of double clear out on each scoop and what it does is it enables me if i have missed anything to catch it in the second pan and um, this is how fast it is right that's the first bit then what you do is you turn it around Submerge it straight in, get all the cons the remainder in there, and then you've got small riffles at the uh, back. And all I'll do is I'll just run it across the small riffles. Let's have a quick look. So let's just have a quick pan out. So look, there we go. That's just a really, really quick pan that was. As you can see already, a few specks of gold. That wasn't as good as the last one, but it's okay. Oh, get back up there. So let's just have a look. So we've got, what have we got there? We've got some serious fly poop. And there's one little piece. So we've got, one, two, three, four, four small pieces. So I'm just going to clean it up basically. Let's give it a quick squirt and clean. Let's just, right, just do one more quick run through that. A bit of lead there as well. It's quite quickly with the sun shining on it you can see the gold really really well so there's nothing in that now one tiny little speck i'm not going to bother about that that ain't gonna that ain't gonna break the bank let's just let's go through this really, really quickly so as i say this gold claw catches everything it's super super accurate it's very 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 rare that i get an extra piece of gold in the bottom after i've handed the first one Saying that now, you watch, there'll guarantee to be a few pieces of gold in there. And so, this is done really, really quickly. I'll, I'll usually pan this bucket again just to sort of give it a double sort of clean out. A little bit of dark sand there, a bit of black sand, so you never know. There may be a bit of gold there. Let's just do a quick look. Again, I can see with the sun, you can see it quite, quite quickly with the gold in this pan. Picks up really, really well. Oh, there we go. Wowzers. Okay, yeah? That's a nice piece of gold. So, yeah, there's a good reason, <laughs> after saying that, there's a good reason why I uh, do a double pan. I say no matter how accurate you can be, sometimes when you're doing this fast, you're going to miss out. That's a nice little piece of gold. It's almost a little picker, that. There you go. So, as I say, there was, out of that one little, out of that one little scoop, we had one nice piece, one okay piece, and a couple of fly poops. So, let's give it one more, let's give it one more shovel. Let's see how we go on this. So it gives you an idea. Right, so look at this. So as I say, these are the cons I got from uh, a little uh, secret location over in Cornwall. Loads of the rivers over in Cornwall have gold. So you've just literally got to do a bit of research. Lee Palmer's got a book out it's called uh, Gold Occurrences UK. I highly recommend you getting it. 
It tells you all the locations that are being tested, cited, and tried. Um, and it allows you to, to do your research. I get asked all the time where to find gold in the UK. And I'll be honest, no one ever told me. You have to do your own research. It's all part of the adventure. If someone walks up to you and tells you exactly where to find the gold, at the end of the day, that's not prospecting. That's pretty much just going out and panning. Everyone wants to prospect. Everyone wants to find their own little river. I found one river locally that had no gold, had no register of any gold in it. And um, yeah, I found, I found nice gold in it. So again, it's all about going out and starting your own little adventure. There you go, I can see gold already. Let's just take that one pebble out. Let's just check this out. Let's just do a quick back on this. I'll do this really, really quick just so I can check it out. I can see a few specks on top there. I can come back to them. There's a fair bit of lead in there. In this bucket so far. I can see the gold appearing there. Look at that gold. So we'll look. It's like super, super fast, just to show you guys. There so again, there's uh, in that little uh, scoop there, there was one, two, three, four, five, six more pieces of gold. I'm not sure if you can see them. So what I'll do, I'm gonna do a quick clean up on this now, um, and then I'll, I'll do a, I'll come back to the video, and I'll show you exactly what this bucket and what my sluice over the four empties has uh, managed to achieve. As I say, I think it's, uh, it's definitely working that that method I was using with the uh, going straight from the miner's moss straight onto the uh, dream mat really, really worked. But we'll see. I'll show you guys in a bit exactly how I got on. See you in a bit. Right guys, I've done my, I've gone through my cons. I'm beyond excited. This is by far, just by cleaning the pan out and going through about 20 odd shovels of uh, um, cons I've brought from the river, secret location in Cornwall. Um, I've gone through it and um, yeah, I'm beyond shocked. I know by going through the pans, this is probably one of my best cleanups. Um, now take into account, there's not huge amounts of gold in the rivers down in Cornwall and Devon, but if you can get onto it, you can find the good stuff. So I don't know what's inside the bottle, but I know it's good because obviously I've been sucking it up bit by bit by bit. There was one, no, there was one, uh, there was one shovel I did, and there was about fifteen there's sort of specks of gold in it. So I know it's going to be good. Right, are we ready for this? Let's zoom in. Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's amazing. So yeah, this is by far, by far the best. There's still like something in the bottle. Hang on a I don't get too excited. Right, here we go. Wow, holy Mary, mother of God, that's nuts. Let's get the light on that. Just pour some water out so you can see it better. Just no floating gold there. Right, let's get it in the sunlight. There we go, look at all that. There's some nice little pieces there. And that proves one thing, the technique that I've been using for the, um, for the uh, um, miner's moss straight to the dream map really, really works. I've watched so many times uh, when I've been putting the um, gold onto the uh, um, indicator mat, the, the, the plain fine mat, and I've seen it there and it's gone through. And I've seen bits of gold and I've always had my sluice set up really, really well. So I know the sluice is running well. Um, but there's still gold blowing out and I'm still missing on gold. So by doing this way and kind of testing it out, I'm shocked, I'm by, this is by far, I mean, I've been panning now about a year and a half, so I'm not doing it a long, long time, but I've been out quite a few times. But this goes to show an area that I've worked a few times where I know the gold is and how to compare on how it actually works in the actual dream mats with the miner's moss on top, 100% perfect. Um, also, while I'm on this subject, I'm talking to a couple of, um, farmers um, in the local area and I'm looking to get permission on a few different rivers down here and a few different locations. So I'm in the process of setting up what I'm going to be calling the Gold Club. The Gold Club is going to be um, your adventure to be able to come down here, pan with me and a couple of my mates. We'll take you on some of the rivers, we'll show you where the gold is. If you've not panned before, 
will teach you or show you how to locate gold, what to look for. Um, and yeah, so as I say, you've got the opportunity to be able to come down and pound with us and we can teach what you need to know. So uh, yeah, but also don't forget, like the channel, subscribe, like the video, subscribe, um, ring the bell, tag yourself in um, and don't forget that, uh, yeah, come on down to um, Cornwall, Devon and I'll take you panning and come and join the Gold Club. But for now, catch you later.